Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to Small Land, and welcome to the first day of autumn. Boy, I tell you what, it is so nice when you have a game where there's seasons and then everything changes. The foliage, the creatures around and stuff like that. It looks nice, man. It looks nice. A little bit different, but it's always a good thing. For today, we're going to be doing some upgrading. I am grabbing a little bit of sap because we're kind of running low, and that is one of the main things we need, it looks like, for upgrading the flint. So in the last video, we went down to the south beach. We got some bark. We got some flints, and it's kind of nice, man. We should be able to upgrade all of our stuff today. Weapons, some tools, things like that. Kind of excited. And something I am worried about, though, speaking of resources, is I'm not too sure, man. Whenever winter hits, I don't know if things like the rye, where we get the seeds for our refined wood, I don't know if those stop growing. Not sure if that's a thing. I mean, you kind of think that they would. So I did some extra farming. Try to get a little bit stocked up just in case. That way we can still function through the winter. And don't have to just camp out in our, our little base here the whole time. The other thing is, we got some new parts unlocked too for building. So let's take a look at stuff real quick. Oh yeah, let me show you, let me show you. Kind of excited about this. So we got the two stacks of flint here. That's all of the bark that we got. Don't forget, I did do a second resource run. And we've got overflow. Two more stacks, or a stack and a half of the flint. So it's not too bad, man. We should be able to get all of our stuff upgraded. And then we got new stuff for base building too. So since how we got the bark, that's one of the resources for upgrading, changing stuff around. So we'll take a look at that today, too. Let's start off with this. I don't know if anything is new in here. Now, we do got the different bows, right? We got the recurve bow, but we need to get some of the silk thread. That's going to be done with <laughs> going to the spiders. We might do that in the next video. We got to make up some of the shears to be able to cut it. Oh, there is something in here. The poison mace. Really excited about this. So it does blunt damage, it does a pierce damage, and it does poison. So it, it's, it's a lot of damage that it does, but we don't have everything to make it. I think we have enough of the poison glands. We should for the insect sting. That's all stuff we get down from the wasps that are down on the south beach. We got plenty of bark. Now fiber string, I'm not sure where to get that. That might be something that we do with the silk from the spiders, possibly. Kind of sounds like a mix between fiber and silk. I don't know, we'll have to see. Is there anything else? We got some poison arrows. I'm not too sure how much that makes for each one. We do got some insect fur. We get that from the bees. But we don't have a lot. And then poison dart. So that's going to be used with the blowgun. Okay, I was wondering if there was going to be some type of ammo for that. That's kind of expensive too. Ah, oh, dude, the uh, insect fur and the poison gland. Kind of expensive. I'm guessing you get probably 10 for each one that you make. Oh, we got a healing patch. So that's new. It's a roll of fabric soaked in honey. It's a remedy for wounds, so we use the honey crumble and fiber. Interesting. I wonder what the difference between that and the simple bandage is. Like how much it heals. And then over here should be all of our new stuff for the flint. So we got the hatchet. That's going to be the resin, flint, and refined wood. So I do have quite a few seeds as well. I farmed those up in between the last video and this one. And then we were just grabbing some of the resin. We will make the spear. We'll probably make everything. Now, the sword is something we'll make for sure, because a lot of the stuff on the south shore, where we get the flint, look like the, the sword is the main damage type, kind of like the geckos and stuff. We've already got one of those. And there's the shears for getting the spiderweb stuff. Uh, dude, I am not looking forward to that. And we got a blowgun. So it's a hollow tube made of bark, used to fire the darts, okay? The weapon of an assassin, silent but deadly. So I notice you get sneak damage attack too, right? Whenever you hit something with a bow and arrow. So maybe that'll be really good for, for taking around with us. Hmm, interesting. Accuracy is low though. Oh, movement speed is reduced as well. So that's gonna be five to eight or fifteen to eighteen on the damage. And then what is? We got the fire arrow. That's two for fire damage. Wasn't there some flint arrows somewhere? That's three poison damage. It might be in here at the bottom. Oh, they are. And that's going to be two on the pierce. So I'm guessing that the main damage comes from the bow itself, right? Oh, the recurve is 23 to eight, uh, 23 to 28. Holy crap. What is the one that we're using now? 12 to 14. Oh, dude, it's definitely going to be worth it to upgrade to the recurve. It's just, <laughs> just getting that silk thread, man. It's going to be a problem. All right, let's take a look at one last thing before we start building. Where is... Where's our hammer at? Did I leave the hammer here? Nope, we got it. It's just not on a hot bar. 
So what do we got here that's new? We've got the tannery that we need to make. We've got the table here that's going to make our potions and stuff. We'll make those two for sure. We got all that stuff. Ah, oh, these are the new foundations. So you got a regular square one. You've got a rounded one. I like it. And then you got a rounded one like the opposite way, right? Concave and convex. That is awesome. Instead of just having a regular square base. And then for building parts, same thing. You got the floors that are different. You got the regular square one. The convex and concave. Here's something else, too, that's kind of neat, is the pillars. That's a reinforced wood pillar and a basic one. And then we got all the different roof parts. The stairs. And then you got some of the rounded. These are kind of neat, too, man. The way that they're not straight up and down, they're kind of curved. This is what I was looking for, the diagonal wall for end base here. Oh, we got railings! Oh, dude, we finally got railings! So what we'll do when we build our next base, or expand this one, whichever we do, we will probably do a mix between the wood and the grass. Just because it's different colors, right? Makes it look a little bit better. But, as far as these things, I was thinking... That's what we need right there, to kind of block that up. I guess actually we'd use that one, right? It kind of sits with the way that the, the roof goes. Nice, man, nice! And what about decorations? All the same. We got the table. We got... Oh, wait, prep table. What is that? And a cabinet. I think I didn't really pay attention to these before because it required the bark, which we didn't have. Alright, cool. So, let's do this. Let's start building. Let's grab a little bit of stuff. We're gonna need... We'll take a couple stacks of flint. We'll take the wood that we have. Now, like I said, we got tons of seeds, so we'll definitely take some of those. I don't know if we need those things. We can always grab them later. We'll need some of this for sure. And then let's grab our other stack of resin. It's super easy to come by. Oh yeah, we need some stone too. Nice, man, nice. That should be enough to get our things built. And we'll go out and do some testing on them today too. It's the main thing for today. I want to get some stuff built, do some testing, see how everything is. So what do we have in here? I thought there was something over here to make. There's not. Oh, there is. We just can't make it yet. That's the, uh, the mace. Ah, oh, man, that sucks, dude. We gotta figure out about that fiber string. Anyways, over to the stone cutter. Let's do... the seed oil first. Just so that we have some of those. I know we're gonna need some more of the... the wood for sure. The refined wood. Alright, let's do that. We'll make some of this, whatever I have enough of. And then we'll go ahead and start building. Probably do the... Wait, what are we missing for this? I oh, need more fiber. I forgot some. Thought I had some on me. Let's grab whatever's in here. We'll grab a little bit more. I'm gonna try to stock up a ton of this before winter. Like I said, just in case, man, I still want to have stuff to repair all of our things, right? Alright, so we got the hatchet. Maid. Spear. Sword. We already got the pickaxe. We got the spear, uh, shears. And then what about... So we need bones for that. And then where do we make the darts at? Is that over here? Oh, they're only poison darts. I think we might wait on that just because it requires the insect fur, which we have, I think, 15 of, but we need to kill more bees, and then we need some more poison glands. I mean, let's try it, man. Let's try it. You never know. You never know. We're here for testing today. We'll see if we like it. Maybe we won't. And then we don't have to farm for it anymore. We got three of those. We got 12 of those. Okay. We also need to repair our... stuff over here. We don't need those. We need that repaired. That repaired. And then our armor. So we will be getting some new sets of armor here soon, too. Oh, wait. We don't have a, a flint hammer, do we? Let's repair that. Well, we need to go down and see the other people. There's two other ones, and they should both have some armor for us to make. So make one of those. What are we missing? Oh, the bones, dude, the bones. Now, we only got... We only got five of them, but that's fine. That's enough. One of you. And do we want to try this? It does pierce damage. It's arrows with a sharp flint tip. Deal better damage than wooden points. Okay. They must be equipped to use. Ah, they're just super expensive. It requires the insect fur. We're going to try it. Oh, wait, our inventory's full. Let's get rid of some stuff. How are we on bandages? Let's make some of those. We'll head out, do some testing with that. 
Let's make some more. <laughs> it's better to have too many than not enough. We're going to use them anyways, so not that big of a deal. And we're going to get rid of some of our old gear here, too. So let's put the sword up on that. Store you here. We got our new axe. Where's our old one? There we go. We'll keep them in case we want to end up using them. We're using that. We're not using our stone spear anymore. And then we got these shears. We don't need to equip that. We just need to have it with us. We got this. We'll put up in there. We don't need all the arrows. We're going to be taking the... The other ones. Oh, we didn't make any. Any of the flint ones. Or did we? I thought we made some. I guess not. Is that all of our stuff? That's the only thing that's left that's stone. Ah, oh, dude, that sucks that there's not a better hammer. I kind of like the hammer, man. I don't know why. I think it's kind of cool, though. All right, let's unequip those, and we'll make probably just 10 of the flint ones to see what the difference is, right? I think they're made right here. Let's make a couple. We're going to use them. Let's just take it. We'll use them. we got to kill off some more bees, though. So that's all of our insect fur. Watch. <laughs> We're going to need some for something. All right, you're equipped there. Are we? We're dying. Oh, dude, we're, we're hungry, man. Holy crap, dude. Eat some food, dude. Eat some food. It's fine. It's fine. Good thing. Somebody made up some bandages. I'm just saying. Let's go ahead and heal off of these. That way our hot bar ones stay the same. Now, I should make some of the other ones just to test them out, but I kind of want to save our, our crumble, right? For later. I just drop off a couple things here. And then we should be good. To go out and smack some stuff around. Was that? That was a perfect amount there. We're gonna need some more storage. I hope there's another set of storage. It's a little bit bigger. I mean, it's a hoarding game, kind of, right? Whenever you're doing crafting in a game, it's... <laughs> you always end up hoarding everything. So we definitely need this space for stuff. Let's leave these. We're gonna grab some of that. And we'll leave the wood as well. Now, if we have time today, I want to head out and try to grab... Once we're done building everything, I want to try to grab one of the... The ladybugs. To see what that's all about with them. Because they're supposed to be like little pack mules, right? Alright. Let's grab a little bit of food. We don't have anything cooked up. We'll cook some of the ant heads. And we'll leave our little bit. We need to grab some of that. I've been avoiding it so much because... We just don't ever need it, right? I mean, we do now. But we usually don't ever need it. Oh, these are a one-to-one -one ratio. That's a lot better than doing the mushrooms. Alright, we'll do two more. That's a full stack of those. So we're good on food. We got our bandages. We got our new stuff. Oh, dude, I am super excited. If we die, it's not going to be a good day. Junior, you're in the fire. That's probably not the best place for you. I mean, you do you, man. Whatever works for you, whatever works for you. All right. Oh, you know what we're missing? Did we not make a spear? Give me a minute. I think I might have put it in the box. Let me see, and if not, I'll make one. We definitely want one of the flint spears. Is that a thing, though? Flint spear it is. I think I just put it over here. Got it. Crisis averted. We're fine. We're fine. We're not fine. We're stuck in the door. We will replace... Let's replace our food for right now. Cool. Thought I was going to have to make one. It's fine, though. Let's grab this. I'll grab some seeds and stuff on the way back. Now, I'm not too sure how many in-game days it is for the seasons... I kind of need to pay attention to that. Three hits. Oh, dude. Three hits on the ants, man. Fantastic. Oh, it's a fantastic thing. Let's grab you. Grab you. So we need to find one of the beetles. So I think the beetles are mainly the bow and arrow, which we should have the bow, right? We do. Let's replace that for right now. I don't know if the blowgun will do anything to them. Let's try that. Well... They're not susceptible to arrows. The ants aren't. Oh, dude, that is so nice. Is it about a storm? I think it might start raining here. So there's Junior. Let's get out the blow dart gun. We'll try it on him. Let's crouch. Oh, I need to equip it. He's coming for us. Get out of there! Get out of there! Okay, okay, okay. You get up, man! 
do this. Flint arrow. I don't think that does very much damage compared to the other one. 24. Oh, dude, that is not good, man. Let's try the... Spear. Oh my gosh, the spear, dude! Let's try it again. That might have been just a coincidence. <laughs> it might have just hit like a critical hit or something on it, right? I hope not. I hope that was the normal damage of it because that is fantastic, man. Ladybug, don't go anywhere. I'm coming back for you. There should be some more of the beetles down here. Now, if we have time today, I do want to take a look at some more of the cooking. We definitely need to get rid of some of our cooking supplies that we have. Okay. Big hit. Oh my gosh, look at that dude. Flint spear. Way to go. Flint spear. Oh, dude, that's a game changer, man. I right, grab some of you. Let's try... I want to try the... The darts. Let's try to get them loaded up. I made some, right? That's the arrows. I don't see any of the darts. I might have left those at base, too. We'll see. If anything, we'll try it on the grasshopper. Now, I know it doesn't get a bonus because it's not the right damage type, but he's nearby. We're nearby. We'll, <laughs> we'll try it out. Let's find something else to smack around. There's another beetle there. Dude, this, uh, this spear is no joke, man. We've we been over here. So two big hits. We'll take out the beetle altogether. What about a big hit on the bully ant? Same thing. Two of those. Oh, man. It's going to be so nice with not having to die all the time. The beetles are the main thing that was causing me problems. Just because, I mean, they're tanky, man. They are so, so tanky. We good over here? Is that some rye? I'll tell you what, I'm going to harvest up all of that stuff. We'll head back to base. We will grab some of the... The darts and try those. Now there is one of the dragonflies nearby. We'll probably try to take that out too. That'll be a good test for the... It's only two hits on these as well. With this new axe. But we'll try those on the way back because there's a little bit of a beach area that has them. And we'll kind of see how that does. It, it probably wasn't a good test against the beetles with the arrows. Kind of a new area we haven't been to. It's back behind the grass. The grass looks kind of cool. Kind of uh, creepy because you can't see anything. But there is a bottle cap over here. Oh, there's two bottle caps over there. Where are we at in life? Oh, we are way down here. I haven't been down this way yet. Scrap you. See if we can make it across here without dying. That would be fantastic. Uh, dude, we might end up building over here. If this is a safe little island, it might be a good place for a very large base. I mean, it's around the water, which is cool. I mean, it sucks we can't be in it, but it's kind of cool. There's no creatures. There's a way to get across there if you jump down and go up. Only thing is we only have one way in and out. But I mean, if we're safe, that's the main thing, right? Can we jump back over? Please tell me we can jump back over. Nice, man. Nice. Ah, oh, dude, even maybe right up here might be a good spot to build in. It's getting towards nighttime. We need to start heading back, too. Let's take a look up here real quick. I'm kind of venturing off from where I wanted to be today. This is nice, man. I mean, other than the beetles, but we can we can deal with those. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Where are we at? We're coming back around this way. Okay. What if there's a way to cross? I mean, there is right there. Let's head down. Oh, please do not get stuck, man. We got so much of our new gear. It's expensive. <laughs> I do not want to lose it all. Not yet, at least, right? Not like this. Not by falling into water. All right, I'm going to make my way back to base. It's getting towards nighttime. Maybe we'll sleep, and then... Yep, I see ya. Trying to figure out which hockey I have my spear on. It's not the normal one. But then we'll try to do some building and test out that other... That other blow dart, if we can get the stuff for it. Oh, dude, we got spiders. We got spiders. I'm in a log. I'm in a hollowed-out log. It's our first encounter with them. They're little, which is fine. Totally fine with the little ones. Little spiders... Fine. Big spiders? No good. <laughs> what kind of damage? It's a jumping spider. Okay, we need the sword out. Are you friendly? Okay, they're, they're pretty tanky. Yep. See these kind of spiders? Totally doable, man. Please tell me there's not a mama one. That's all I'm worried about. The jumping. I'm gonna have to get used to the jumping, okay? They are, uh, they're very fast. Spider stew. Interesting. Okay, let's try out the... 
Spear. Oh, we're poisoned. Dodge, dodge, dude, dodge. Okay, look, we're gonna die. Oh, we're gonna die. I don't know where we're at. Get out of here. <gasps> I don't know where we are. That's why you don't go messing with stuff. And we're stuck with a spear. I'll tell you what. While we're here. We have some... Oh, there we go. Poison darts. <laughs> nice, man. Nice. All right, so... I don't know exactly how to get back where we were. It's almost nighttime, which... Ah, oh, dude, that totally sucks, man. I don't know if there's a timer on your stuff. It shouldn't be. One would think that it should just be until you get back to it. That would be nice. Preferable. And then at least we have the spear for getting past the beetles. We might be able to get there from... Going this way? I don't know! Uh, dude, I don't know if I wanted to try to do this at night. It seems like those spiders didn't try to attack us, though, until I smacked them around. But I was thinking, since we got new weapons, it might be uh, easy to kill stuff. But I think that, you know, as you progress, the enemies get harder as well. <laughs> so, we'll see, man. Let me try to find out where we're at in life before it gets too dark. Ah, dude, that is a lovely sunrise. It is morning time. I kind of spent the night over on that little island. That's the one that we found. And there were some fireflies over there. So let me show you. Ended up smacking one around. We've got a new crafting recipe. Did open up. And it's a firefly torch. It just uses the firefly juice that we looted. Insect fat and wood. Not too bad. I'm guessing it's a different color. Let me show you though. Something that is very interesting. If you read the tooltip, it says that damselflies are ir irresistibly attracted to it. So I'm wondering if that's one of the foods we use for taming those up. I need to start looking at the tooltips on all of the things that we loot because they probably have stuff in there that tells you what it can be used for. Now, as far as our stuff, it should be right up here, I think, as a log. Ah, oh, dude, I was not paying attention. Does it show on the map? It does. Okay, there's a gravestone. I could have gone the other way, but I think this is it right here. Yeah, please, dude, please! I have got zero health left! Out of the way! Out of the way! One more hit. One more hit for him and me! No! Don't do it! I wish food would heal you, even if it's a tiny bit. Holy crap, dude, we got 10 health, man! Right up here should be our stuff. If we can grab our death marker before we die again, before we try smacking around the spiders, or at least try smacking around us, that would be fantastic. All right, look, I'm sorry I stabbed your friend. Take all. Bandage. Yep. Bandage again. Okay, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. I mean, not really, but we're doing okay. <laughs> Let's bandage one more time. That should heal us up. All right, I still want to explore in here. While we're here, man, might as well, right? Yep, I hear you. I am going to try to run past you. I'm, I'm sorry. I oh, apologize. <sighs> Dude, I tell you what, man. Spiders. Let's heal up one more time. Now, it said the sword was the best thing for him. There we go. Big attack. Big attack. Oh, we got to hit him, though, is a thing. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That's a terrifying noise that they make. Okay, okay, look, look. The big attacks are not working, dude. Heal up, heal up. We're poisoned. Lock. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go. I don't know, man. The big attacks always get me into a bad spot, it seems. Let's heal up again. He's coming over here. Let's block. Yep, okay. He was he was waiting for the block. He's smart, man. He's smart. Dude, if I die again, I am not going to be happy. Oh, dude, I'm not going to be happy. Okay, look, look, look. We're getting out of here. We're going home. We're going home. Bandage. Bandage. Is this the way out? It is. <laughs> are these new things, man? I think they are. Need a flint, hatchet, or better. Okay, not a problem. The ants are a problem because our health is low. Oh, dude, we are tearing them up like crazy, man. Yeah, you better run. You know what's good for you? The did you get? Yep, you tried, didn't you? Not much of an ant warrior. Just say. 
So these are little saplings. I'm guessing a lot of wood. We got resin, wood, and fiber. Oh, dude, that is fantastic. It seems like as you progress further on, there's more resources that give you everything instead of trying to hunt down, you know, all those individually. Dude, I was trying to do some farming. There's a lot of ants. I know I said it before, but dude, there is way too many bugs in the world. Let's tone it down just a little bit, please. All right, let's grab this last part. We have other stuff we were trying to do today, man. Let's get back to base and build those two crafting tables. And I was wanting to try to tame that damn so fly today. We might save that for the next video. We'll have to see. Yep, oh, I don't want to fight you. I just want to get back to base. Where are we at? Okay, we're close to the Elder. I know where we're at. Somewhat, kind of. That might actually go... Right there, it goes right across, but it is over the water. Let's grab some of this resin. Yep, it tried. Now, there should be some of these screws over here, too, right? If we're on the proper beach. Not there. I think they're over here. Yep, let's grab some of these while we're right here. Might as well. Oh, another bottle cap, too. Not sure what we'll need for building our new base, but I definitely want to build a, a big one. Next one might be our last one that we build. I mean... I always say that in games. There's our base. But uh, I definitely want to build a large one. One that's taller, too, because it's kind of claustrophobic going in there with the way that the camera angle is, you know? Are we good? I'm going to cross and go that way. We are at home. Let's grab this last bottle cap. That way they can start respawning, you know? Junior, you're still here, huh? Tell you what, I'm going to smack you around. It's nothing personal, you're just in my way, dude. You're actually in my house, too. Yep. <laughs> I gotta repair so much of our base. Give me that, man. Oh, my inventory's full. It's a lot of stuff, man. All right, let me clean this up again. I definitely need to do something with foods, man. We are, well, we are so full on foods. A spider eye. Interesting, it's a glassy, gelatinous orb. Perfect for stews and casseroles. That is terrifying. Just saying, very terrifying. Alright, inventory is sorted. Let's find something to shoot with this dart gun real quick before I forget. Let's go ahead and equip it. We'll try to do a sneak attack damage on it. Should be an ant up here. There he is right there. Let's crouch down. Did I not grab them? There we go. Yep, no sneak attack. That's fine though. That does a little bit, but these guys aren't really... Oh, wait. There is no aiming or anything. We're about to die. We're about to die. Bandage. Bandage. But these things aren't really weak to... Arrows. I mean, it does okay. It is not too bad. It'll be interesting to use those against the bees and stuff. It's just, like I said, dude, they are super expensive. Alright, now that that's done... <laughs> let's stop messing around. Get back to base. Let's do some building. Get those other two tables out. I'm curious about the health potion, right? To see what that kind of costs and how good it is. Close the door. Always close the door. So. Let's change you out. There. And what do we need? Let's do the... This first. Refine wood, bark, and stone. And then... Flint as well. We're going to need to make some of the refined wood. Not a problem. Let's take that. We'll make some of that as well. We're going to need the stone. We need some flints. We need some bark. Let's take a little bit more wood. All right. Another storm coming. Dude, I tell you what. These storms are no joke. It's like every time you turn around, there's a storm. Might need some more of the seeds. I wish there was a craft all button. That would be fantastic. We're going to make all these up, though. All right. Let's do this first. Oh, that thing is massive, dude. Do we have room in here? We do. Maybe we don't. I don't want to put it outside. We might have to, though. Why does that got to be so big? Okay, look, look. 
There we go. We can build another foundation out there. Let's do that. Let's build one more foundation. Where is... It's a floor. Oh, foundation. Can you... Clip to that? You can. That might be big enough. Let's go ahead and just attach it here. And there. And let's dismantle this. We'll build our table. Now, I might go ahead and just wall this in as well. That thing is massive, dude. <laughs> that thing is so big. All right, we'll put you there. Let's put a... torch out here as well. That way we can see. All right, so that's done. How big is the tannery? We need some more refined wood. Boy, I'll tell you what. We need to make six more. All right, so one tannery. That is massive as well. You know what? Will that go down here? Actually, that'll go on the ground. I don't want to have to build another one, though. I wonder if we should just remove this and just expand our whole base out. Not that. Let's do this. Let's dismantle you. Dismantle you. Like I said, we are moving soon anyways. Or not moving, but rebuilding. Must be on ground. Oh, dude, it's too tall. Well, this fits. If it'll fit, we'll be fine. It won't fit. I mean, kind of. Look, I know it's sketchy, man. I know it's sketchy. We're just, we're going to deal with this for now. It's just for testing. We'll see what all we have. And I'll fix this later. I'll fix it later. So, in here, we've got a poison-resistant brew. Oh, we got resist resistant stuff. Interesting. That's gonna be... Oh, so that's where we use the boiled poisonous mushrooms at. Okay, okay, okay. It's a poison resistance by a moderate amount. So that's gonna be good for the spiders. Good to know. I am so glad we built this now and looked at it. That's a lesser one. Okay. So for this, we need some more of the poison glands, too. Interesting. Then we've got the health elixir. So that recovers some, and it's going to be the seed oil, petals, and nectar. The big one, I mean, we're not going to mess with the lesser ones. If we're going to build these, we're going all out. That'll be two of the nectar, one petal, and one seed oil. Definitely worth it. We've got a stamina tonic, which we definitely need, because holy crap, are we always out of that. That's going to be the wild strawberries. Oh, wait. There's a greater one that uses blackberries, a petal, and seed oil. The regular one's going to be wild strawberries and seed oil. So that's max stamina of 20. And then it, it regens, it looks like, 10 per second. The greater one is 15 per second. And then max stamina, plus 30. And those all go for 300 seconds. Are we, are we dying? We're dying. Holy crap, we almost died again. Where's my food? Eat this. Dude, if it wasn't for that noise of the heartbeat, <laughs> I would starve to death. So many times in this game, usually I'm like, what is that sound? Why is that heart beating sound going on? And it's because I'm always out of food. Oh, wait. I'm full. I'm full. We're fine, dude. Let's heal up. Jane Joe's back out. Good. Let's do another bandage. Anyways, where were we? So for the, yeah, the greater one, so there for 300 seconds. So it's definitely worth it, man. It's definitely going to help out whenever we're fighting. Now the health elixir is health of 20 for three seconds. That'll give you 60 health. The lesser only gives you 30. And that's going to be minus 66% for 10 minutes. That is fantastic. The lesser one is only 33%. So it's half, man. It's half. It's not bad. I guess if you're running low on resources, it's definitely worth it to build the lesser one than nothing at all. And I like how it's not too skewed between the two, right? And it's not just a cut down on some of them. It's actually different, right? So you got two of the poison glands. That was only one. One seed oil, one seed oil. But for this one, you only have two of the poisonous mushrooms. And for the lesser one, you need three. So it's kind of neat, right? It gives you more of the lesser quality and easier to come by resources for the lesser ones. So I like that, man. I like that. We'll definitely make some of those here soon. For the tannery, we've got this. So we've got some of those. It'll refine this into a another hide. Wait. Let's grab some. 
Let's see if that unlocks something new. We've got five of them. That's from killing the geckos down on the beach. So wait a minute, am I making leather... into leather? I don't understand what I just did. Oh, it's a refined hide. Wait a minute. What was the other one? Oh, okay, never mind. So, yeah, you're, t you're taking the leather, or you're taking the hide and making it into leather. I gotcha, I gotcha, okay. I was kind of like, what is going on with this? But that's probably something for one of the other... Armors, I'm guessing? Not too sure. That's all we have in here for that, so we've got our new weapons. We've got... That over there. We got our sword. We got our new hatchet. Those are all flint. We got the flint pickaxe we got in the last video. And then we've got the spear as well. We've got our blow dart gun. We'll try with that later. I'm sure there's some other things we can build. Or not build, but kill off using that. And then we need to do something with our base here soon. Probably going to have a remodel coming soon. I like the one area I found. It's right over there. Not too far away. It looks kind of cool with all the dragonflies at night. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to see, man. We'll have to see. Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. Had our first encounter with spiders. Didn't like it. <laughs> I mean, why would you? They're spiders, and they were just a small kind, too. We've got some of our new gear. We've got the new table set out. There's a lot of stuff for us to left to do, and then we're in autumn. It's kind of neat, man. I like the season changes. Kind of terrified what winter's going to bring, but I'm going to do a ton of resource harvesting between this one and next one, and then we'll try to tame some of the dragonflies, or the damselflies, in the next video. See if that kind of works out, and then we'll do the ladybug, too, as well. Check it out. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.